Hi, my name is David, and I would like to take you on a quick tour of a mid-century modern that my partner Keith and I have been working on for about the past six months in Wilton Manors, Florida. This was a very dowdy old home that hadn't had an upgrade uh, in many, many years. It was yellow and had old Bahama shutters that were rusted out on it. And uh, we acquired the property and have tried to bring it back to life and give it its glory its due. The uh, second story was added on in approximately 1972. There was no pool in the backyard, there was no landscaping, and we've changed all of that. Put a modern coat of gray paint on it, a brand new uh, six layer roof, upgraded the fencings, and put extensive landscaping in here. This is a really cool neighborhood that's gone through a sweeping gentrification, and a lot of people are here fixing up their homes, and we're just one of them. Let's take a look inside and let's show you what we did here. Acres and acres of new porcelain marble look-alike flooring. We set everything purposely at a 45 in here so that you don't follow the lines. And we chose porcelain over uh, real marble due to the ease of maintenance. We have dogs and cats and if someone has an accident, it's not a crisis in here. The kitchen had been upgraded somewhat. We were able to salvage the existing uh, marble countertops and refrigerator. We added new cabinets in here and upgraded the sink. We carry the same flooring throughout the entire house. Have a new gas range uh, with a convection oven in here. And here's the cool part. We've got a little butler's pantry here. This is a super food prep area out here. So you can do all your fixing up back here and shut the door. I gotta love this refrigerator too. I'm gonna miss that when we move. So let's continue on right here. We've got two bedrooms downstairs and a full bath. And we continue the same floor throughout the entire downstairs. A really cool touch that we did to this house is that we took out all of the old window thresholds and we had a granite guy come in and measured and we were able to put in black granite window thresholds in every room of the house. We even had a cabinet maker come out really for a reasonable cost and he made custom uh, shelving for us for every uh, closet in the house. And it was less than 300 bucks, which was really a bargain. Uh, and here's our downstairs full bath. It's small, so we chose some really nice finishes here. We used Carrera marble in here and some mix of stone. We've got a free floating vanity right here. And we chose a basket weave uh, floor pattern, but we used a dark grout in here and it really makes it pop. One of the things that was very important that when we used it here, it may not pick it up quite so much, is that the lighting was critical in here. Uh, we looked at different types of lighting. The LED lighting seemed to bring out the sparkle in the Carrera marble, although it may not show up so much in this video. When we used soft white, it completely muted it. Here's a smaller bedroom down here as well that overlooks the pool area. So let's take a look further. Here's our downstairs uh, sunroom den. It overlooks the pool area right here. So we have a little dining room, a living room. Here's the back staircase right here. We had carpet on here. That's the last thing to be put back in the house. As soon as we do the full cleaning and all the touch-up paint, we're doing that. And here's our brand new salt water pool and landscaping in the backyard. So let's take a look upstairs and see what we got. We chose carpet specifically for the stairs because of noise. Having lived in a bunch of multi-story homes in New Orleans, I got tired of hearing noisy staircases. Here's our air handler closet that we we're rebuilding. We reconfigured where the air enters the closet for a little bit more efficient design. We'll have that in here this week, I hope. It's hot in this house. Here we chose, um, this is an engineered hardwood, and we set this at a 45. It gives it a really interesting look in the room right here. Uh, just something different to do. It gives it a different pattern. Straight lines your uh, eye tends to follow. Diagonals and things juxtaposed at interest. Here's a, a nice big walk-in closet, which is unique for a house in this uh, neighborhood that has a lot of small 14 to 16 inch square foot houses. This window overlooks the neighborhood here. We're like the only two-story house around, so it's really cool at night because you get to see everything and you get to check the neighbors out in the pool next door. Did I say that? Here we go. Now, let's look. This is our take 
uh, modern Art Deco twist. I think we got it right. These are really cool light fixtures that we found at a high-end light shop that was uh, changing its inventory. So we're able to get a great buy. We use a mixture of subway tile, glass block, and glass tiles here. And one other interesting thing we did, we used kitchen height counters and we used them only 21 inch deep. It's great for guys shaving and I guess anybody else doing too. Uh, new Hurricane Impact windows here. Great big shower with a seat. You know, what kind of fun in here? Look at that. I'm washing the dog. That's what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. And we carry this out. We have a nice closet right here. The upstairs air handler is actually behind this closet. There are no nails in it. Everything just lifts out and then exposes the air handler. Now, here's a really cool feature of this house. We have this great little balcony here. And once again, we're the only two-story house, so we use the synthetic deck material right here. We put a new roof down first, then we marked every board, numbered them, put roofing uh, tar down, then we set the boards into the roofing tar with boards and heavy cans on top for about a week, let them glue in place, then we put one screw at each end of the boards that we put silicone in, so we were trying to make as close to a permanent roof as we can. Uh, my carpenter working with me, I told him, I said, we want a New Orleans style railing. I had to go online. I lived in New Orleans for almost 20 years. All the balconies there to hold up people, kind of throw, catch beads. Almost every uh, post has a support that comes down at about a 30 degree angle. This is anchored into the deck and it's anchored into uh, the uh, post with lag bolts. Also, it's anchored into the building and it gives it enormous structural integrity. So, here is the pool. Is this awesome with what? We built a sun deck down here uh, with our 11 and a half year old German Shepherd and uh, other two old dogs in mine so that they could get in and out of the pool cool. Of course, we're getting old too. And then my neighbor and friend Luis Lenza is the landscape designer, did this magnificent yard for us. This is our AC uh, systems and our heat pump for the pool. So this is our house. This is our mid-century modern here in Wolfen Manors, Florida. It's a great house and we have tried to do as good a job as we can and stay on budget. So come on by. Bye now.